Wireless sensor can activate police cameras automatically. A new product designed for law enforcement officers can trigger their body cameras to start recording automatically. The signal sidearm is a wireless sensor attached to an existing police firearm holster. It can also be integrated into dash cameras, body cams, and other wearable cameras such as head cams. When a gun is drawn from a holster, the sidearm triggers all cameras within 30 feet to begin recording automatically. This allows footage of the same event to be recorded from different perspectives. The product will be available in the third quarter of 2017. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Law enforcement technology just keeps getting smarter. Cops have a new toy to curb high-speed car chases. More than 50 law enforcement agencies across the United States are using a new system that gives police a safer way to catch fleeing suspects. The technology was developed by a company named Star Chase and has reportedly not been involved in a single fatality, injury, property damage or liability claim. The system uses four and a half inch projectiles packed with GPS satellite trackers and coated with adhesive to make them stick to a moving vehicle. They are loaded into a launcher mounted on the front of a police car. The launcher uses compressed air to fire the projectiles via a control console in the car or a key fob. During a car chase, officers fire the projectile at the fleeing vehicle. Once it attaches, they can retreat safely and monitor the car's location with the tracker. Suspects are still arrested, just without the dangers of a high-speed chase. Authorities in Milwaukee, Wisconsin have been trialing Star Chase since December. It has been successful 28 times during this period, with 17 people taken into custody and 26 stolen vehicles recovered. Ferguson police test less lethal gadget to lower number of deaths. Ferguson authorities have begun testing a less lethal gun attachment in the wake of the highly controversial shooting of Michael Brown, an unarmed black teenager killed by police officers in August. The gun attachment, dubbed the alternative, is designed to make shooting less lethal. The manufacturer says it can be affixed to a weapon within seconds. When an officer faces a threat, which does not warrant the use of lethal force, he or she can opt to use the bright orange attachment. Once placed, bullets are embedded in the projectile when fired. Unlike regular bullets, the projectile does not cause severe internal damage. Targets will likely experience a sharp pain, giving officers a chance to subdue them. Ferguson Assistant Police Chief Al Eikhoff said five officers would participate in an initial training program to test the new technology. Police use radars to see inside homes. At least 50 U.S. law enforcement agencies are now equipped with a radar device that allows them to detect human movement through the walls of houses. The device, known as Range R, operates as a highly sensitive Doppler motion detector. It can detect human movement from a distance of up to 50 feet. The device beams radar waves through a wall and calculates the distance of the target by analyzing reflected waves. The device has a 160-degree conical field of view and can detect movements as slight as human breathing. It works through brick as well as concrete, but cannot penetrate metal. Use of technology raises both legal and privacy issues, and a 2001 U.S. Supreme Court ruling barred authorities from using high-tech sensors to scan inside someone's home without first obtaining a search warrant. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Tacoma Police admit using Stingray cell phone surveillance device. The Tacoma Police Department said on Wednesday that it is in possession of a cell site simulator, a spying device used for tracking cell phones and obtaining data. The Stingray, also known as a cell site simulator, is a portable device that is able to track cell phone signals even when inside vehicles and buildings. The device acts as a fake cell tower, sending out a powerful signal that tricks the targeted cell phone into connecting to the fake network. It then determines the phone's location by analyzing the signal strength. 
The Stingray can also collect historical phone data, such as call history, text messages and emails. While tracking the targeted cell phone, it can also extract data from other cell phone users within a half mile radius. Tacoma police say the device is used to find suspects in connection with felony level crimes, and the department does not store the data of innocent people.